I'm Dr. Jean-Simon Diallo from the Ottawa Hospital Research Institute. Vaccination is possibly the most effective way to keep the world population free of infectious diseases, so as long as a sufficient number of individuals are inoculated. Unfortunately, because of high costs and insufficient local supply, people in developing countries do not have sufficient access to vaccines. The starting material for most vaccines are live viruses, which are typically grown using pathogen-free eggs, for which supply is unreliable, even in developed countries. The productivity of the 60-year-old method can vary tremendously and currently falls short of worldwide demands, particularly for diseases such as influenza. So how do we resolve this problem? More reliable technologies using cell bioreactors are currently available and have been adopted by some of the major pharmaceutical companies. However, head to head with eggs, these new technologies are significantly more expensive to implement, at least initially. This makes their adoption by vaccine manufacturers established in developing countries particularly difficult. We recently made the discovery that some novel compounds could actually increase the replication of viruses in cells. As we found we could increase the production of viruses by over 1,000 times in some cases, we quickly came to the realization that these new viral sensitizer compounds could be very useful for manufacturing vaccines and cells. We have since found that we can apply this technology to cell-based manufacturing of influenza and other vaccines, although so far only at a very small scale. We now propose to demonstrate that we can make our technology work on a large scale. To help us attain this goal, we have enlisted the help of the Biotechnology Research Institute in Montreal, aiming to use their cell bioreactor influenza manufacturing process as a proof of concept. In addition to being experts in vaccine manufacturing, the Biotechnology Research Institute has established links with the World Health Organization and manufacturers in developing countries, potential partners with whom we hope to apply the technology directly. One can easily imagine how beneficial such a technology could be if it were successful